Hello, hello. Welcome. This is my attempt to redo my Let's Play of Tomba. Ten years ago, I tried to make it happen. I changed jobs. My internet wasn't as good. I didn't have the time. And then I went back to school, got a job. And kind of just lost track of speedrunning or uh, let's playing or any kind of like gaming for people. So it's been a minute since I've done anything with YouTube. I've picked up a lot of hobbies. I'm enjoying LARPing and getting out and doing stuff outside, but I got better internet, so now I feel an obligation to at least get a full playthrough onto my YouTube channel, so it's bookended. So we have our protagonist here, who lost his bracelet that belonged to his grandfather. There are a couple of cutscenes, which I'm going to try to avoid talking through when they're talking. Tomba's pretty quiet, so it's pretty easy to talk through his stuff. But it's been a journey. Hey you with the pink hair. I've never seen you around here before. I used to live here, but it's changed so much. Well, if you need any info, go to the small hut at the top of the hill. Crazy old geezer lives up there. He should be able to help you out. Before you go, be sure to check all the signs along the way. The local visitors bureau did a great job supplying helpful information for visitors. To read the signs, press up, and do the thing. By the way, what's with the pink hair? Anyway, never mind. I don't want to know. See ya. So even in Tomba's world, the pink hair is unusual, but it's never explained, so not a big deal. So we're going to go to this mailbox and grab a Furious Tornado. Along the way, I'm going to be trying to do things for higher percent that I'm going to actually do. So like, I'm going to attempt to get this... Because we're going to try to take him home. So if we get hurt though, that frog is absolutely running back here. Like that. But, also want this baby pig. And the peach flower gas. There's a whole bunch of little things that are very easy to accidentally screw up. Ready to head into the old man's hut already? Unfortunately, the fog is so thick you can't see a thing. Looks like we'll have to turn around. Do you dye your hair pink or is it naturally that color? If only I had my nature's, <laughs> nature survivalist mail order catalog. I'm sure there'd be something I could order to get. Out th yeah. To get out of there to get rid of this fog. Oh well. Bye. So, something windy might do the trick. Let's use Furious Tornado. Thank you. 
So there are situations like that where um, you'll clear one of your tasks and it will come up with a little fanfare. Some of these things are very much later quests that we may or may not end up doing, but I want to at least get some of them just in case. What? You found me already? I was trying to hide from you. Well, since you found me, I'll give you a little hint. To the right of me, behind this hut, there's a pond. If you go up the hill from here, you'd be a crazy old coot. He's supposed to be some wise hundred-year-old man, but he just seems to mumble a lot to me. Who are you? Don't oh, mind? Never mind that. Just go see the place I told you about, and we'll talk again later. So we're at the pond, even though I couldn't bring the frog here, we still have to go here. Let's see if you can swim. I can swim. I can swim. I enjoy it. Haha, ha, I thought so. Mr. Turtle saved you this time. The next time you may not be so lucky. Can't go past this door until you can swim. Trust me, you're not up to it yet. Come back after you learn how to swim. You hungry? Why don't you take this with you? See you later. Much later. We'll see. There are the boxes. There are lots of different things that have different scores that you have to meet. So now that we've got the bananas, we can go back and talk to that monkey we saw. down whenever I see him. You can swing. And it's not great about telling you the logistics of it, but it says hold that you wish to jump. The length is the like it's it's silly. It gives you very distinct angles when you hold the direction and jump. So he hasn't eaten all day, and the pink hair is giving him a headache. So, we can fix one of these things. So we have bananas. Oh, you'll give me your bananas? Thanks. You know, it's bad after all. I was hungry, I couldn't move. My name's Charles. I know what, I'll teach you a trick, okay? Hold the button, and the direction you can run. It's called the Animal Dash. Got it? Do the thing. Alright, and that makes our movement way better. Okay, so we got a chick. Just healing up. So now, I shouldn't have any issue. Brain froggy. Things get a little slippery. But they're not too unmanageable. That one. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, it is important to bring the frog to the actual spot. And he ran away because I went too far. So, 
I'm not gonna worry too much about Frog right now. Just gonna keep climbing up. And get to see this old man. Get a little bit more progression. Hmm, what shall I do? Hmm. hmm. Why, hello there, you're a cute little fella. I am the hundred year old wise man. What can I do for you? Hmm. Oh, sorry, my mind is preoccupied with something else at the moment. Say, would you do me a favor? See, there's something that really bothers me. You must have seen them on your way here, the red cocoa birds. Those darn birds steal eggs and try to raise them as their own. I feel sorry for the cute little chicks inside the eggs. Could you go out and collect all of the chicks from the eggs? Of course. It's like I may have already done that. Good job, you found them all. But where are the chicks? Tumba keeps everything in his stomach. So, it is uh, a little uncomfortable, but it appears like it works out okay for him. What else do you keep in there? Never mind, you don't need to show me. It's alright, really. Thanks to you, I have one less thing to worry about now. Ah yes, you wanted to see me about something, right? Hmm, so the coma pigs stole your grandpa's bracelets. Hmm, you want to know all about the coma pigs, huh? Well, here's how the story goes. Now that's all I know about coma pigs. If you wish to retrieve your bracelet, you should make some friends. That'll be a great help to you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Of course, if there's anything I can do, just come back here. Hmm, I seem to have lost my hundred-year-old bow. A moment. Alright, I seem to have lost my hundred year old bell. I was going to give it to you, but if you find it, return it to me, would you? In place of the bell, I'll give you this. An ancient key. This old key goes a hundred years old. Oh, how the time goes by so fast. So the key is as old as the mail. This is the only key that will open the hundred year old chests, which are also as old as the mail. I need the uh, pig bags to... Find the evil pigs without the evil pig bags, you won't be able to find their hiding places. So ask the dwarf elder about the pig bags. Find him in the, past the forest above here. You should be able to tell you everything you need to know about evil pig bags. Now run along. Alright. So. Brings down this. But there is something we need from out here. We're going to grab these charity wings. Charity wings are an item, and in this game, they will bring you to a place you've already been. It's common, it's a thing that games do. While we talk to this guy. Right, and we're gonna be aware of these guys and the dwarves need to learn their language by um, 
eating their faces. You know. How you eat ever how you learn all your languages. So I'm also currently trying to learn the leaf butterfly language. Uh, not really, but I do need leaf butterflies for quests later if we wanted to do that one. And it's just a little easier now before things get worse. I'll just try to grab as many of these guys as I can while not wasting too much time. This section is a little annoying. So they're still saying garbled stuff, so we're not quite there yet. can eat four dwarves and learn their language. We have a problem, but we don't know what to do. Dwarf forest was cast on a spell by the evil pigs, the flowers have wilted away, and the trees have mutated. Several dwarves have not returned from a recent hunting party. We suspect they may have been trapped by the giant spores and cannot move. The doors to the hut in the forest have been opened, but the deep forest is being guarded. The guards won't let anyone pass until the missing dwarves have been found. Gotta save the dwarves. Not much else we really need to do in town. So we are going to work our way back. to get to. Alright, I may have uh, lost that boomerang forever. Yeah, alright, well, that's okay. So, we died. That's a thing that happens. Does it respond? It does. Okay. There we go. Wooden boomerang. There's a dwarf. Some more wings. We are nearly dead already. The last dwarf here. Pick that up. Right. So then from here, I'm going to enter this door. Look at the cute puppy. Bye, puppy. Two doors. Crystal ball. 
and we are good to go. So, crystal balls are an interesting concept. You are intended to peer into them and then let the discoloration of the uh, ball itself kind of like guide you with the smokes and different colors and things, different uh, styles. So it's interesting. It's uh, not quite uh, what you'd expect, but I'm going to drop off the poppy. See, you are. What are we have here? It's going to take some time to heal. So, can't think of anything. Let's name him Baron. Alright. So, we'll let Baron exist there. Healing herbs will heal any kind of wound, but they only grow on Phoenix Mount. It's too dangerous to go now because the winds are too strong. So, drop Baron off. Then we've got to come back and deal with the rest of the missing dwarves. I also found a bucket, which I'm going to put in the wood door. Game takes you out if you equip anything, and it changes your appearance, so it wants you to see it. One dwarf left. Nearly in there. have some pants. So we're going to pop on these pants, which will give us a little bit more of a jump. And we have to be a little bit more careful with this area, because it's precarious. This guy. Our second, third filling of water. This is a weird flower petal, as it they want you to rotate it that way, but that's not exactly the way it goes. So let's talk to this kid. I can't get down. I'm looking for flower seeds, but I couldn't find any. I just want to go home. You'll take me home? Thanks. So, I had to put away the bucket to get the kid. So I didn't do it exactly the way I wanted to do it. So I wanted to fill up my bucket and then get the kid. But, that's okay. Also gonna make a detour up here. The telescope. The game can sometimes be picky on where you need to push the button. So, from here we can see Evil Pig Island. But let's never talk about it again. Here we're gonna make a big jump. The goal is to get the other uh, crystal ball, but we don't need it. I 
and I'm going to make a trip back to get that other drop of water. And in that, I will grab the crystal ball. So you're the one that helped my boy. You have a very kind heart. Please take this. It will help you. Jeez. All right. And from here, we get congratulated by all of the dwarves. Thank you. The dwarf elder is very pleased. You are so brave. You've made the entire dwarf village very happy. May I shake your hand? I think the pink hair is cool. You're a real local hero. Alright, from here we can get back to the uh, village elder. So, you saved the villagers. Thank you so much. Save some dwarves. Right. Dwarf Elver is very pleased you should talk to him. Good. A courageous young man, I am Dwarf Elder. On behalf of everyone in this village, please allow me to thank you in saving our friends and family. As you can see, our village does not have much, but I hear from the hundred year old wise man that you are looking for evil pigs. Ah, yes, here it is. Blue Evil Pig Bag. Hundred year old flower forest. This is the Evil Pig Bag. The pig that casts a spell on a village. Take it. The bag will help you find evil pigs. When you're near the pig's hideout, the bag will reveal the pig gate. That'll be the entrance. Remember, the evil pigs do not hide in places where they cast their spells. Also, each pig only has one bag that can seal them away. In other words, there are a total of seven evil pigs, seven evil pig bags. Evil pig bags should be near places that have been cast under the spell. Find the bags, find the evil pigs. Be careful not to underestimate the power of the evil pigs. There is no need to guard the deep forest anymore. You may pass as you please. First, try, to try Phoenix Mountain. It used to be a really peaceful mountain. Now there are those awful storms. It must be the work of some evil pigs. So, evil pigs cast evil spells on evil places. Got it. Who are this guy? Candle went out. Anyone in there? Lantern went out and I can't see. Where did the lights go? I think we saw a guy that we can manage here. You want my torch? Be careful not to burn yourself. So, got fire. We can go back down, do the thing. Torch. There's my tunnel. Thanks for your help. Now I can finally escape. Yeah. Abolish prison. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh dear, have you seen the elder? Two dwarves in the forest are arguing in front of the village. Usually we just let them be, but they're blocking the way and no one can get by. Stop the fight. So, we're going to help these two to solve this dispute. He hit it. Whatever it is is broken, so I think that's the trigger we need to actively find. Oh, 
broken vase. So they're squabbling over a vase. Uh, that's, see, it's all your fault. You're the one that broke it. You fool. How dare you break my precious vase? I'm so sorry. So. The elder was a genie all along. Finally made it out of that hole. Would you be kind enough to fill up the hole? Why is there a sinkhole in the middle of the village, anyway? It's like that's where someone escaped. So, yeah. Okay. Did you see him? No, I can't find him anywhere. And maybe it is just a rumor after all. I don't know. A villager said he saw in this forest. Sure, but even for the world's greatest thief, it'd be hard to dig an escape tunnel this far. The great escape. I'm gonna go look in the underground prison one more time. Waddle away. Alright, so now, we need to go back in here. We're gonna equip that bucket. We're gonna grab this water. Where is it? This water? Other water. So that's taken care of. That's not for the best. But... I botched the jump button. Lives aren't too much of an issue. So I don't foresee that being a problem. But if it becomes a problem, we'll figure it out. <laughs> if it becomes a problem, we'll figure it out. So, I don't think it takes away our... Yeah, we've got a bucket of water still, so we're good there. Just gonna get this, um... Other bit. Good one. Okay. Competence. Alright, there we go. So, from here, we're going to not get distracted by the stuff and make a full jump all the way over. Let's get this. From here, we're actually going to go back. And we're going to... Show off one of the benefits of the hundred-year-old man. Also use the bucket of water. Get this big yum. So we're just going to use some charity wings at this point. To the village of all beginnings, the hundred year old man's house. This will just be easier, because there are some things we need to do down there. But when you talk to him, he'll say that you're injured and he'll heal you. So, we're back to full. 
Um, we grab the charity wings from before. Got enough here. I could have just gotten healed there instead, but that's okay. So this is Yon. Yon of the Hidden Village. Hide and go seek. I like to hide from people. Usually they never find me. Find me again. I'll give you more information. Don't expect it to be this easy next time. This is going to be a lot of fun. Good old game of hide and seek. Good luck. See ya. Alright. There's a few key things I wanted to make sure happened on the way back here. And I was pumping those down. And getting the chest here. The 100 year old bow. So now we can traverse through a little bit easier. Straight up using the belt. Just takes us back to the 100 year old man. So. Now we go back to that area. And we go through Charity Square. These pigs are a severe pain. Oh, right, we got the yam. We need to drop that off. The dwarf village for something I desperately need. I give her the baked yam. Oh, hey, you found it. Thank you so much. It's coming now. Pull my finger. What a relief. I just couldn't help it. I had so much gas, I felt like I was going to explode. Thanks a lot. By the way, I'm not sure quite what this is, but why don't you take it? It's something very unusual. Vitality max plus one. We get more health. Alright, so now, from here. Um, we can go through here. Because now we have five health, and I accidentally went back into the village. These loading times are atrocious, and probably a lot of what the speedrunners are looking to um, cut out when they're playing is load times. So, from here, there is a path to Charity Square at the bottom of one of these pits. That's the fire one, if I'm remembering now correctly. This one. Okay, from here we get a whole bunch more charity wings. Let me find out if the fountain is broken. From here, we can take a magic slide. What was called a leaf slider? I can't put you any further. It's a little dangerous. Crying won't get you anywhere. Okay. So I forgot we can't actually go that way. But that's okay. We will go the way we need to. So, a lot of people struggle with 
by the agency being a thing that they're told they get to care about. Like, that poor woman just needed to fart. And a lot of people are going to think that's gross. When it's a natural part of the human body, as far as we're aware. Like, it could be we're eating things we're not supposed to be eating, but that hasn't been proven yet. We will see how that goes. Because there's a lot we don't know about our bodies and the food we eat, especially. There we go. Made up those extra lives. So that way is blocked currently. So we need to have this. Now, these mushrooms are um, interesting. They will randomly make you laugh. Starry Mountain is dangerous. Strong winds. I'm guarding this place by order of the Elder, but it's really boring. Gives me time to practice. Practice? Well, dream is to become a famous actor. I want to be an actor that can make people laugh and cry. It's really hard. I'm not sure I express my emotions. Well, that face, that expression, it's great. Hmm, I see now. This is really useful. World's greatest smile. That's really quite a nice game. So, if it makes you smile... Also, it takes away your ability to use a weapon. So we're going to use the sad fruit here. Also, want to grab a healing fruit and try not to die. So, up here. There we go. Also, want to grab the uh, chest here. And I ignore this guy. Hopefully. Not well, but we're going to do our best. So, now we are sad. Hmm, but there's still something missing. What kind of face should I make to express sadness? This one. Now that's a face that sings for sorrow. I can see if I can master the laughing and crying face you just made. Hmm, yes, I think that'll do with some practice. Thanks, you've led me to something. Practice, practice. Now I must be going. So, Almost forgot, the Elder went towards the mountain. If he wanted to see you about something, you should go right away. But first, I need another happy mushroom. So we got our elder. Stormy pig bag. Did you feel that? I just felt the evil spirit inhabiting Phoenix Mountain. It's proof that the evil the mountain's been cast on an evil spell. If you ever feel something like that again, it means that you're under its spell. Look for evil pig bags in those places. The key to finding the evil pig bags is to search areas that have been cast under a spell. So, from here. We go here. I'm all wet. I told you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, you just had to go to the jungle now, didn't you? I heard there was a giant bird that lives on this mountain that can take you there. The phoenix? This has been a long time since he's been known as the master of the skies. The master of the skies. Ah, you. Guess I feel the cold coming on already. Alright. Hey, wait for me. What's the rush? Wait. 
Trust me, you should get down from this mountain right away. So, this mountain is a little rough, as the wind is constantly pushing you to the right. There are a couple of things that are very hard to deal with, and there are things that are additionally throwing you. So, stuff like that is going to be a problem all the way through. Thanks, this place is terrible. The wind blew me up there. I got caught. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't shown up. Ah, oh, jeez, my pants are torn. I can't go anywhere like this. What if someone sees me? It's too embarrassing. I had an extra pair of pants with me, but I lost them in the wind. You've got to find them for me. Alright, so, Charles is going to hang out without pants. Sounds like a lovely weekend for him, too. Right. That's, that was interesting. The laugh canceled out the being hurled. And the picnic basket. Alright, so. Got caught on a ledge there. That's okay. These plants are more, they just throw us. That one throws me directly into something good for once. These uh, turtles are shells, and they throw them occasionally. These pits are the worst. Uh, it is important to not animal dash, if I'm remembering correctly. They they tried to ensure that you could do some, yeah, several specific jumps, even if you didn't find the things. So there, though, we want to jump backwards and get to where we need to be. So this is probably the worst area for losing lives as pits. So, it might have been a good idea to save, but we will roll with the uh, punches here. And make our... good lord. Alright. This feels bad. Like, Back when this game came out, this was the expected level of difficulty. It was ultra hard. We have since moved on from that point. This one even takes you through a screen transition. So, this game is a little mean to its player. Again, a lot of that has to do with what the anticipated difficulty level was for this era, but it's still just mean. And because... <laughs> because I died, I lost my laughing. So that's another aspect that I will have to manage later. Like, that's not even a fair jump. That time I did forget to not run, but... I have lost several lives on this... And, like... Even jumping from back there, it still overshoots. Like, the slightest tap, I guess, is where I need to be. And this is the only real path forward. Ugh. 
Good gods. Like, in order to do anything, you need to get to the end of this walkway. So real quick, I'm going to try to save. Hopefully that works. Let's see if I can fix that. That'll do. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Playing off of the replay is uh, not a thing I should do, because I can already feel the difference. Playing directly looking at my screen. Yeah, I feel a lot more confident here. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Alright, so from here, we don't want to talk to the phoenix just yet. We want to go in here. And here we find out about the fire pig. Can't go any further because of the flames. It was so hard to get here. Hey, why don't we put out the fire? Just kidding. I know it's impossible. Aw, oh, shucks. If I were inside a cave, maybe some rain would put out the flames. By the way, I found this here. Do you know who's there? In any case, I have no use for him. Here, take him. Charles the Pants. So, Charles is a lovely item that we can't quite use yet. So, from here, we're gonna meet the phoenix. So, mouse pig bag. Everyone in here appears to have been turned into mice. Missing mouse. We have a missing mouse to report. A real baby mouse is missing. This is a real baby mouse and not a former human like yourselves. It must be found immediately. Anyone with information on the whereabouts of the baby mouse should notify the town hall. We'll come and pick it up. Thank you for your cooperation. Back to village. So. From here, go where any mouse would go. The bar. Found the lost baby mouse. Oh my, I didn't even dream of being in such a place. I see, we'll pick him up immediately. Um, if you'd like, check out the bulletin board again. Adventure I wanted. The pump at the lake is broken and there's not enough wine for the village. We need an experienced adventurer to go to Bacchus Lake and fix the pump. Looking for courageous challengers who are not afraid of the haunted mansion. Alright. So. This is the road that leads to Bacchus Lake, but it's very, very dangerous. Don't go unless you really need to. Your tomba? Well, let's go fix the pump. Haunted pig bag. 
breaking these eggs for a reason that'll become apparent later. Phew, we're finally here. I tried to fix it, but I'm not strong enough. What a lovely lake. Alright. Pipe fence. Switch is off. Turn the switch off. Oh. Looks like that did the trick. Let's head back. It's what every town needs. Wine that is uh, pumped directly into the town. Kind of like water. Just, you know, go get some from the wine pump. Now, this place is kind of a maze, but it's not too big a deal. And we'll get to that a little bit later. Especially because we've got a few extra things to pick up. Because I died. Thanks again. Don't forget to report this to Town Hall. Alright. Look, wine. There's wine again. You've been a tremendous help. Not sure how we can thank you. Oh, there's always plenty of wine here. Feel free to take as much as you want anytime. But not for you, okay? Thank you very much. Alright. So. Then we need to talk to this guy. Hi, you really helped us. If we were bigger, we'd be able to do it ourselves. For those darn evil pigs. If only there was a spell could be broken, original bodies could be restored. By the way, I put a town in the treasure chest next to town hall. You can have it if you like. I'm afraid I don't know how to open it. So. That's here. But it's a thousand year old. So, we'll need to come back for that. So, I've got to do something really quick because I lost my laughing powers. But I also have Charles's pants. So, I'm going to help Charles out. Where'd you find these? Now I can get up and go home. Oh wait, here, take this. It's the least I can do. The funky parasol. Equip it to yourself, and it'll automatically open when you jump. It'll slow down the speed that you fall. If you press the down button, you can increase the speed of your descent. If you catch the right wind, you can move yourself to a good spot. Got it? See you later. Okay. From here, I'm going to use Charity Wings to go to... The Mushroom... Or no. What was it called? I'm just going to walk backwards. I'm not equipping Funky Parasol yet, because that is ill-advised. Death's not a bad option here. So, from here, because this is really just where I wanted to be, to go this way,
So I need a good laugh. Alright. Okay. That's fine. Because now we can go this way. Move back into this area. So now, we need to break all of the pegs. Why? Because in here, there are flames. I'd like to say welcome, but as you can see, you can't really talk like this. I'm meddling with the coma pegs quite a lot these days, so the coma pegs trap me in here. I can't get out of here until the power of the pig that trapped me in here is taken away. Thousand year old. So we gotta break the magic egg. You know, the magic pig egg. I'm sorry, can you come back to this room when the spell's broken? So, we've got to crack some eggs. Dying to the laughter. Okay. So that's that one. Ooh, PS1 technology doing the turns. We cannot get to those eggs from this side because they are on the other side. Can't get there without fire. But that's okay, we don't need fire. There are slides. Do I need to go in here? There's a couple of rooms you need to go into. Yeah. Start picking up key fragments. So I forgot to do something over here in one of these doors. Maybe a couple of these doors. Dope. <laughs> couple of these doors. Alright, so this is usually where I put my funky parasol, because it is helpful in this scenario for reasons you just saw. Uh, the boomerang also can grab in this scenario. Uh, over here is the extension of where we were. This is that one. Check in this room. This doesn't open until way later. 
Alright, so then we are stuck just going back up the elevator. We can't retrace our steps the other way. But it's important that we get the old man free. Oh, I lost my laughter again, didn't I? So, upon thinking of it, I remember, I realized there is a effective backup to um, get your laughter back. There's a better path I could be taking. So I will work on that. I will see about finding that. That's not it. That's... Good thing you were around. I work at the town hall. I went to Lake to fix the pump myself, but well, just look at me. Came all this way and even brought the key to the small room. Pretty pathetic. I'm gonna go back to the village for a little while. If something you need, don't have a say. See me at the town hall. Now be careful. This guy. Trap the small key. Luckily, that's exactly the thing we need. But, from here, we're going to go this way. From this way. There are spots where you can jump back into the foreground. In some places you'll just die, I guess. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. We've got some lives. And I don't think we can go back that way. But we have things we need. So we're just going to press on. Here we would save. I'm going to do a state save in this point. So that we can progress because I don't want to have to do that again. And I don't want it to like be save state abuse or anything like that. So I'm going to do it. Gonna do it this way. Yeah, okay. Because it's right in here. The small key. So that was the last egg. It was glowing otherwise, and we wouldn't have been able to just break it. So. Now. We can talk to our old buddy here. Our 
thousand-year-old man. You're back. The hundred-year-old wise man had good things to say about you. Looks like he was right, too. Want to hear some more about the evil pigs? The evil pigs use very powerful magic to pour an entire area under their control. However, they needed a more enormous amount of gold to produce this kind of magic. They must be gathering this all in one place. If you find this place, I'm sure you'll find your grandfather's bracelet. Alright. Thousand-year-old key. Open thousand-year-old treasure chests. You'll need to find... You'll find what you need to get across Phoenix Mountain in a thousand-year-old chest. I think I left it at Phoenix Mountain. Remember this. Special technique in getting through the lava caves. The flames from the lava inside the caves will also be a problem. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do until the evil pig... You find the evil pig to cast away the spell there. The green pig bag will reveal the evil pig gate. So let me... So search the lava caves for it. I see. In your eyes, you'll become stronger. Just don't lose your courage. First, you should climb the stand of the sun torch. It's somewhere near this building. It will show you a new power. After that, you can use your own strength to find the way. And red powers. Take care of yourself. You'll meet some friends up ahead. I can help you. Be careful of the 10,000 year old man. He's not a bad man, but you'll find out. Alright, so. Got that. Now. I'm going to forget the things I've got to do here. Because there's a couple. There's a couple of chests around. A stone boomerang. Not that that helps much at the moment. But it is there. Alright, so... Let's see. Alright. Alright. Oh yeah, the Bacchus Village. And... Yeah, that's where I need to be. Alright, so let's get back. Still have my laughing. That's important. Okay. here. We can get this from Jewel Pig Bag. Now we are going to use our... I'm missing a large key panel, but we'll Get back to that a little bit later. We're going to use our charity wings to go to Phoenix Mountain the Lava Caves. So we got fire pig bag. And it puts an invisible wall here, so you can't get any further. Now I need to unequip my parasol as fast as I can think of it. That's it. It's the thousand year old key in your hand. So there's finally someone worth enough. Guess my job is done then. I don't have a clue where it's in there. Take whatever it is. That guy gets relieved of his duties. Because we have a chest to grab if we don't die. We have the grapple. With the grapple, we can do a lot.
but first we need to Oh, I'm, I mixed this up. <laughs> Alright, hope I uh, have enough charity wings later for this, because I'm supposed to be in the haunted mansion. No, wait, what? I'm still laughing, and that's important, because I need to be laughing to get in the store. Smile! There's our last piece of key, and our door. We find our first evil pig. Wow, my clothes. This happens every time I flex. Who are you? How did you get in? You what? A scrawny thing like you wants to fight me? Well, I guess you didn't see me. my muscles rip through my clothes. You know, people like you never know what they're getting into before it's too late. What do you think you can do, skinny boy? Go home while you still can. You still dare to fight? That's it. I've had enough. I gave you your chance. You're in for it now. Just remember that you asked for it. Is, this is a good enough spot. Oh. So, the goal of this fight is to throw the evil pig into evil pig bag. Once you've done that, you have defeated them. Now we can use the healing mushroom and not have to worry about laughing anymore. In here, we can, if we are standing directly in front of it, put our all our little key pieces. Big key. Big key is useful in a couple spots. Specifically, this one. Here. I'm going to equip the parasol again. We have our grapple equipped. And these two together let us traverse most spaces. It's not always good about knowing where you're trying to go, but 
This gives us a pink pig bag. Alright. So. From here, we're going back to the lava caves. It's nice if I could reach this. Those are kind of important. Okay. So now, down this way, there was some stuff I didn't get. So I didn't have a thousand year old key. Got some better pants. Look how dashing they are. There's also the healing herbs for Baron. There's the Red Evil Pig Bag. Phoenix Mountain. And I fell. And that's okay. I will actually make that detour for the um, Healing Herbs for Baron. Because I feel like that might become an issue where I don't have enough Charity wings. So just in case, I'm going to make my way up here and get those. So from here, I'm kind of stuck. This one only takes me to here, which is fine. The interesting thing about the grapple is that you can traverse through platforms. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Those guys throw their shells at you, and there's little you can do about it. So I have two lives left. I am just going to do my best to get back into the... I wonder. Time to find out a thing. I'm going to equip my funky parasol. And we are going to go to the right. Oh, Lord, this isn't what I wanted. All right, never mind. We are going to use a... I have one life left, so I am going to use the charity wings to go back to the Phoenix Lava Caves. <laughs> Uh, all right, from here. Now the fires have calmed down. We can go up, fight another evil pig.
Owner of the Haunted Mansion? Who knows? Who cares? We are all the mansion now. You're challenging me to a fight? I'll give you a fight you won't likely forget. The Thunder... Thunder Pig. In the bag. Two down, five to go. Here. We need to get five punk flowers. And this section is full of blind jumps, which are everyone's favorite. There's my extra charity wings. Pigs now fly, and you can kind of fly with them for a little while. So I've got enough flowers for the phoenix now. Some extra lives. And we've got our path. Okay. Okay. Got some pink flowers. So the sky is complete. So majestic. Good burp. Okay. This time, we actually get to where we're supposed to go instead of at the bottom of the mountain. And there's a jungle pig bag. So, these guys are a pain to deal with. Everything in here hurts a lot. So, it's better to kind of just hang out above everything. To some point. Um, you're supposed to be able to jump into the background at some point, too. So, I think that's here? Yeah, okay. From here, you can kind of make your way down without falling into any of the traps. The traps are also an instant kill. Oh, you can't swim. Hmm, what are you gonna do? I guess I could teach you how to swim, but... Oh, no more bananas. I'm kinda tired of them. I'm really thirsty, though. Do you have anything to drink? Let's see what we can do for our friend Charles. Uh, this is number three time. Third time. By the way, I found this hat near the entrance to the village of civilization. If we're going there, will you turn to its owner for me? Whoever lost it is probably looking for it. Miner's hat. Alright. Bananas. Alright, so let's get back into the background. Heal out. 
talk to this guy. Go away. Oh, you're not one of the Scary. Oh, what a relief. Didn't mean to scare you. I came here from the clock tower. It's the village of civilization up ahead. My hat was blown away and landed somewhere around here. I just saw a weird looking monkey with it, but I'm too scared to chase it. What? With all the mascara and all. Say, have you seen a strange monkey with striped pants on? You think you'd go get my hat back from him? Oh, Charles. Ah, oh, that's it. Thank you. Hey, if you like, why don't you stop by our clock tower? You probably won't be able to enter the factory or the iron castle. You can enter the clock tower anytime you like. So, heading on over to our clock tower. Right. Hey, it's you again. What do you think about the clock tower? Looks fabulous, doesn't it? It's called the Village of Civilization. It's famous for the clock tower, the iron castle, and the factory. What kind of civilization is it anyway? All well, the machines don't work. Oh, by the way, thanks to you, my favorite hat's been returned. Thank you very much. Hey, why don't you try some juice I just made? It's pretty good, right? How about some banana juice? One, one minute, okay? Squeeze them like this. Such a good gift. Look at this guy. He's pounding the juice out of these bananas. Real tight. Squeeze. Alright. So now, we got a drink for Charles. Luckily, it's not too far away. And then we get the ability to swim. That was not a good jump. Let's get a better one. Scary. It's fine. Let's give our friend some banana juice. Oh, it's banana juice. Thanks, I'll enjoy it later. Now we'll teach you how to swim. Are you ready? Whenever you feel ready, just jump into the river over there. Hey, can you hear me? Calm down. Stop flopping around so much. That's what makes you drown. See, when you're calm, you can float, but be careful. Now, without flopping around too much, press the button and direction, and each time you press the button, you move forward. Not too bad. By the way, the left side leads to a waterfall, so don't go that way. It's a long way down. All right, looks like we got the hang of it. Come on back. Surprised you learned how to swim so fast. All right. So, now we need to do it for real. To get to this one. Because we need something here later. Knowledge fruit. Alright. Ouch, what do you think you're doing, young man? Why'd you bite me? Huh, wait a second. Oh, okay, I'll ask him. Old Tree says he's not angry, he just has a small favor to ask. As you can see, the old tree is, well, old. He can't suck up enough nutrients from the ground on his own anymore. That's why he's getting weaker day by day. There's one thing the old tree can be healthy again. Pump rocks lie all across the continent. These rocks actually have water with lots of nutrients in them. 
you step on all these rocks, push them into the ground, nutrients will seep into the soil and old tree will be all better. Well, that's fine and good, but that takes a long time, and we may not do that. So, Alright, so now, now we know how to swim. Tried to outthink the guy, realized I went too far and didn't need to go this way. It's embarrassing, but it's fine. So, let's talk to you. Hi again, maybe I'm not as good as hiding as I thought I was. And we've got another pig door. Well, if it isn't some funny looking kid. Is this some kind of joke? I figured all sorts of big, strong, yeah, scary people would come to fight me. I can beat anyone here, no matter how many times they fight me. Why? Because this place is a... well, I'm not telling you. It's good for me to know and you to find out and when I crush you. Ha ha. Get it? Because I'm the Earth Evil Pig? Oop. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use a lunchbox. I'm going to hang out up here, so the evil pig can spawn up here, and accidentally hit a peg. So this is the problem, that you don't always get a fair shake at getting the evil pig. And I threw him down and set him over. There we go. So, some of these fights are kind of shaky if you don't get it right right away. So, now Bacchus Village should be back to normal. So, let's see. Okay, so Bacchus Village is on the mend. Alright, um... So I don't need to go in here, I need to go into the center. How was it? Juice Man was pretty good, right? What do you say? You want swimming in the Skyway River? The river is famous for its fast current. I don't know anyone that swam across it. Say, do you think someone was crazy because you could do me a favor? You probably already noticed the clock in the tower is stopped. To get the cogwheels moving again, we need the machine to work. Fortunately, there's all kinds of problems. Hey, you can go see for yourself. I'll make sure you can pass through the factory and the iron castle as you please. Alright, we need power! 
Yeah. Oh man, Aaron Castle looks totally helpless now. Oh, jeez, uh, you've been able to drop it, haven't you? I believe the machine room is beyond this door, but as you can see, it's impossible to open. Left untouched for such a long time. Gener inside. Generator inside came to a stop. Just look at this mess. It makes the entire village look bad. So we gotta break the rusty door. And that's all we need to do here. Let's see what this side of the village has to say. Alright, you. Oh, the iron door? Door so old. It probably won't open unless you blow it up with a bomb or something. So I need a bomb! Clearly. You want me to make a bomb? Huh, what a gullible little fella. It's just joking. I guess no one's gone to such lengths to try to open the door. Come to think of it, I do have a bomb. I made it a long time ago, but it's dangerous and I didn't have any use for it, so I hid it in the jungle on the highest tree. Looks like a coconut, but it's actually a bomb. You know, the safest of places. Be real careful. Alright. Why would you... What's in this? Charity rings. Okay. Alright. So, let's go get a bomb. Got a bomb! And some more health. And a lunchbox. Alright. This guy's gonna go through all of his text again, so let's just go ahead and use our bomb. It's a good call running away. One would assume you'd want to tell the person. It's a good. There was some good animation right there. Hey, door's open. Do the thing. Get those cogs spinning. And we have a mysterious elevator. Alright. Say, I hear you're traveling in search of the evil pigs. Wait right here, okay? Heard there's a 10,000-year-old man who lives near a large pool. At the top of the waterfall knows about evil pigs. Why don't you pay him a visit? I'll need to go through all the village of all beginnings to get to the top of the waterfall. I'll detour his pain in the neck, but good luck. The door to the old pond is locked. Here, take the key. Cool. 
Right around from the hill, the old tree to return to the haunted mansion. I'll leave a raft at the factory so you can go ahead and take it. Let's ride the raft. I forget if that even works. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Also, I have some things for Baron, so I want to make a stop at the um, dwarf. Hmm. How do? Hey, listen, I just came back from the village of all beginnings. While I was there, I saw her, the witch. Her name is Mizuno, and well, she's really cute. I wish you could see her again. Cute witch. Okay, um... Something about a raft. Raft. So, I absolutely remember the raft breaking. Up we go. Hey, hey! Uh, I guess it just won't work with normal water. Plus, we need the stuff to make a fuel bar. Food for fuel? Didn't realize you were listening. This is called a go go car. To make a move, I need a fuel bar. Problem is, I can't find an ingredient that's needed to make a fuel bar. All I need is a little bit of wine. A bucket full should be enough to finish the motocross course. Well, I'm here. I think I've got enough reason to go and do a bunch of things. That's. I want to try to use the raft. Because I'm scared, <laughs> basically. Because I don't remember the raft working. It's really how that boils down. Like, I just straight up remember the raft not working. And that's just a little scary. Yeah, yeah, dodged it. So, is it here they want you to use the raft? Can't use that here. Can't use it here. Here. Let's ride the raft. Over there. Okay. And now there were some things I needed to do in here. Some. There you are. Here it is for helping us. Yeah, more health.
What's under the forest? Jeez. Needle gator teeth. Uh, thief store. So, not there yet. Not there yet. But we will. We'll come back. actually works out as we wanted to get to the dwarf village to help Baron because we've got a sick doggo that we can heal. Because you gotta save the doggo, right? Healing herbs. You went to Phoenix Mountain and found him. It's a miracle you're still alive. Well, at least Baron's wounds will heal now. Now all I need is some good food and rest. Speaking of good food, there's nothing but beat the taste of the fruit from the Tree of Knowledge. Wish I could have some of that fruit again. Do you want it, or is it for Baron? I don't trust this fruits from Tree Knowledge. For me? Oh, right, for Baron, of course. Baron needs all the nutrition he can get right now. Here you go, Baron. The delicious knowledge fruit. You went and found these yourself? It must have been really difficult to find healing herbs and fruit and knowledge. Can tell how much Baron, Baron can tell how much trouble you went through to get these. He's always so happy to see you. You know, I've been looking at Baron and thinking he might have some special powers. See, his ears are really big. Maybe you can fly with those. It's just an idea. Something makes me feel he's special, you know? Baron's strength. Anyway, now we just wait for him to get back to regular strength. Have you been to the beach behind the village of all beginnings? It's the time of year seaweed gets washed up on shore there. Seaweed's supposed to be really good for you. Usually I go to that spot. Get some seaweed, everyone. But I don't think I'll make it this year. If you're in the area, could you get some for me? Sure. We gotta go there soon, anyway. Doesn't Bear seem like he's gotten bigger? Can't tell if it's grown or just my imagination. Alright. So that's that. That needs to trigger so the seaweed will be there, I'm pretty sure. Um... Now we are attempting to go and, yeah, we're going to go do that now. Picking up any of the stuff in here along the way that I can think of. Because we're a little bit uh, better off currently, so... We've got a few keys. Nothing up there. Nothing over here. This is kind of a wasted trip. I don't really need to go through here. Never hurts to move. Extra healing mushroom. Mysterious mushroom. Okay. 
So, got some good stuff. Hey there, we meet again. Did you want to ride on my boat? Okay, I'm pretty busy. I can only take you one way. Alright, so this will get us our seaweed and a few other goodies. We will have to come back through here again, but that's okay. It's a familiar looking mansion. Seaweed. Alright, so we got some treasure. And then it spits us out. Boom, right at the beginning. And with that, I'm actually going to take a break. So we've got our little witch. Hi, hello there, sweetie. My name is Mizuno. Mizuno the witch. So, you want some magic candy too, huh? Well, it's not that easy. To make candy, you need a biting plant flower, some silver powder, definitely some molasses, coca claws, always add, and a bushami thorn. A budamushi thorn. The secret ingredient is needle gator teeth. Stand over there in front of the cauldron and place items inside. That's so many things. How in the world can I forget three large crystal balls? They're at the watchtower. Without my three crystal balls and mirror, I won't be able to make that now. Little witch, you've lost so many things. So, that's how you get to the witch. I should take a break for some water. Thinking about it. Okay. And back to game. So now we've got an extra key. So if we see any of the blue chests, we can unlock those. Uh, there's our pond, so let's pop in there. More cheese. And we can go through here now. So, we can swim, even in these 2D areas. What a strange little house in the Trick Village. So, what do we got? Who do you think you are? There was someone who said, I'm a professor, dear old man. How dare you address me so casually? This is Mr. Senior. Ten thousand year old man, too young man. Man. The story of David Pigs, eh? Well, see, it must be a hundred thousand year old man we're talking about. How does it sound? You see the trick for the sun or water? There are ten math bees with numbers hidden on them. You find all the math bees, bring me me, and tell you everything I want to know. Ten thousand years, man. I calculate the beaches possible between the wall. You gotta be able to tap the water. Yeah, you'll give me a turn along. I didn't give me one hand just a while ago. Mermaid came by to see me. She was in. She lost the board and I'm in the waterfall, but she can't get to it on a rubber. Poor little child looks so depressed. Get by. 
and get the iron for maybe teach you how to dive. Maybe it should be best not to hunt a mesh right now. Good lord. Well, and this goes here, and from here you can, in theory, but I already used the raft, oh no. Alright, so... We will, wait, the have the raft. Ha! Ah. Cool. So, that's a more useful time to use that, I guess. Because then we are here. I don't know. It kind of all worked out, the path I went. So, from here, we want to get to the other side. What am I going to do? How am I supposed to get my necklace from that waterfall? Alright. Ma'am, have your necklace. What's this? Why, it's my necklace. Did you go get this for me? Thank you so much. You want to learn how to dive? Well, you've come to the right person then. I have something I need under the water there. If you can go get it, you've mastered the art of diving. What's well, underwater? Well, let's start by getting you in the water. There you go. Now you see how you float automatically? It's not that hard to learn how to dive. Now try pressing that button, and you'll submerge yourself. That's good. Now to move forward in the direction you want, you'll press the special button at the same time. Now, if you can get that thing I need from under there, it'd be great. Get the hang of it. The mighty fish food. Alright, well, do you think you can handle diving now? Since you got this for me, I'll give you some mighty fish food. I don't know much about it either, but I've heard that the mighty fish will appear when you put it, this food in the water. Alright. Back to Trick Village. Actually, hmm. we're right here, we might as well go to see the, um, give this to Baron. Yeah. And we hope these people. Oh, I needed wine. That was another thing. I wonder where... Was it in Town Square, or was it... Hmm... So I've got the bucket, right? A lot of weird mushrooms. Okay. There we go. Why? Okay. Okay, so from here, we're going to drop out this way. Uh, 
So much loading. And we are going to exit out. To go see the dwarves. To give Baron his final piece of medicine. One moment. Okay. okay. I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Uh, let's see. We have wine. We have seafood. Seaweed. That pick up real hard. All right. to Old Pond after this. Alright, seaweed. Thanks, now everyone will be healthy throughout the year. Look at Baron, he's gotten really big. When he brought him here, was just a little buck. Now he's a big healthy fellow, aren't you, boy? Oh, look at that. Baron wants to go with you. Why don't you take him along? I think he wants to get on his back. Alright, he'll be okay. If he gets hurt again, bring him here. we will make him all better. Both of you take care. Alright, we got Baron. So now we don't need to worry about um, charity wings anymore. So now... Shoot. Alright, so we go to the Trick Village. Alright. Swimming was always a big part of my life. I don't know about anybody else. So it's not that big a deal to wander around in a place like this. Three. This is experience, blue hidden powers. Charity wings. All right. So what do we got? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sickening. That's not good. Can grab fish. Look at that. All right. So, so good. We can get the old man's key. Ten math beads. Any math beads? Another feeling. I just trust your strength in my soul. No fears. See duty. Duty. Fill some papers or something. You learn how to talk, which reminds me, you have a pig bag, I guess you may as well have my key. Maybe give it to you. Alright, story of the pigs. I think we've asked the million year old man, he's the eldest of the oldest. Alright, underground maze, yes, here it is, the thief's war. Good lord, okay, good. Millionaire man lives in another maze. I don't need to watch tower. Be careful. Okay. Alright. Alright, so where is his chest? I think there was something down here, maybe? Yeah, this looks like... More health, which is lovely. I will not pass up more health. And this might be it. Yeah, big bag. Alright. Jungle 2. button I was pressing, but okay. It's a good trap. Alright, the other part of the jungle I'm trying to get to is here. I see. Could have just gone out the old man's way. Come down here. Got it. So now we got the navy pig bag. Alright. Deep jungle pig. Alright, Baron. Let's get to the first charity square. Thank <laughs> you. 
you get in here? This area is off limits to all except me, the stormy evil pig. The one and only master of storms. It's not a place for little people like you. Uh, take you and your funky hair out of my sight. Storms create heaven for everyone. All the better. I do as I please. These great storms are my masterpieces. Gold bracelet? Why yes, gold is beautiful. Problem with collecting it. Behold, the ferocious storm, I'm the ruler here. Don't ever, uh, ever underestimate me. I'll see that you understand who's in charge. Okay. Ooh. Nearly put yourself in the bag. Well, that's not working well. Pig. Bag. Pig. Bag. Pig. Bag. Alright, this one's a little tricky. you can hit them <laughs> to make them stop doing their thing. And I'm glad that worked. So, we can be done with this evil pig. Alright. So that's the windy pig. Yeah, Tomba, I know. I'm frustrated too. Alright. So where was I? So, we beat the peg. Uh, go underground. Alright, help if things are working. Where? Uh, I have disconnected my controller, so this could be... Harry. Yeah, and we're just not going to work now. to hope. Just hope this saves. Alright. 
All right, that's working. So let's see if I can lower the But my controller is still not functional. So I'm going to have to call that a stream for now. I'm so sorry that that had to be a thing. So until next time, be healthy, be safe, and we will finish this up next time.